Okay, let's start our ship tour on deck six aft. We're back by the Pacific restaurant right here. Let's check it out. Everyone's eating for breakfast this morning. It is 10.27. So the only thing that way is the Pacific restaurant. And a set of stairs up. Forward, you've got Here's the Carnival Kitchen. Oh yeah, restaurant's right outside the uh, bathroom, right there, right outside the, right outside of the restaurant. And here is Carnival Kitchen. I wonder what they're making today. What, pizza maybe? Pasta? Whatever. It's too much pasta. They're making pasta. Yes. The pasta maker there. Then you've got Emerald Seating. This is a four charge restaurant, but it's not bad. Uh, beignets cost about five. The prices are not on this menu. Let's take a look. Oh, look up top. We've got this wonderful digital window. And then you've got Dr. Ink's Bar. This has been really popular at night. And this is just seating for anyone. And usually they'll have live music right here. Okay, let's take a short jump over here and I'll show you where the Atlantic restaurant is and the Golden Mermaid Bar. And then we'll come back to this point we just left at Dr. Eats. Here's the Atlantic restaurant if you have traditional seating. Oh, and they're doing Dr. Seuss this morning. That's pretty cool. Good morning. Good morning. Here's the Golden Mermaid. Golden Mermaid is beautiful, but it hasn't been really popular on the Jubilee. I haven't seen much happening here. They've been doing Olga at night here. I wish they would do Sky Breeze here, though. I'd really appreciate it. They use this venue more often. They have been here at least once on the cruise. It's not very often. Center stage is that way, but let's go back to where we were at Dr. Inks and move forward through the shops. center stage. Oh, they're preparing for Rio. They're rehearsing for Rio. Currently Rio is not happening on the center stage because something here is broken. But they're working on fixing it. Next year. So right now Rio is happening in the Jubilee and includes no aerial component. They're just doing the singing and the dancing. It'll be a much nicer show when it's got aerial. You can see all the seating for 
center stage here. We've got three levels. Let's walk around center stage. There you've got, here's a little seating again. And over here you've got, oh yeah, on the celebration, this is where the car is. They didn't put anything seating on this one. Got your ATMs and your account checker. A lot of people going over their accounts we've seen this morning. Cherry on top. Let's take a look inside Cherry on top. busy this morning. Next to Cherry on top on deck six, you've got Java Blue. Java Blue line is long this morning. Now Java Blue has paid and free options. Some of the sandwiches and things in this are free and there's free coffee over here and drinks. Got a bar over there next to the uh, center stage on deck six. Okay. Here's your coffee, water. We're approaching the piano bar now on deck six. It says private function this morning, but I'll drop a little footage from last night of the piano bar when it was hopping. Oh, the second choice, okay. Is that Graham? Is that Graham? Oh! I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Now there's nothing but bathrooms on that side, but here's your punchline or comedy club. Huh. This is where the coin is. get a wider shot and it's right next to the punchline right now in the punchliner they're having their art auction so this is where your comedy shows up and today there will be a magician in there this afternoon I'd like to see that okay here are your forward elevators Still on deck six, now you're here. Jubilee Theater's right ahead, and the spa. Oh, fitness center. Here's your, here's your cloud nine spa. Here is the fitness center. Let's have a look at our fitness center. Oh. Bathroom right here outside the theater on deck six. Thank you. Now, if you on the on the jubilee, I keep wanting to say celebration, on the jubilee. If you want a good seat in the theater, this is your hallway, deck six, next to the spa. Walk down this hallway and get in line. They'll say when the show's open for each presentation. And this is going to be your quickest way to get in the theater if you want a great seat. Takes you down front. Yeah, it takes you down front. Let's show you. Oh, whatever, I was on the Vincent, he's coming back over there. Oh, yeah. 
That's where you want to go if you want a good seat. This theater fills up fills up quickly with 6,500 passengers. So plan accordingly. Here we go upstairs to deck seven. Now you can also enter the Jubilee into deck on deck seven, but you're going to be walking down, so you're not going to get some of the best front seats there. On deck seven, we've got the casino on both sides. Now if you go this direction, the casino is non-smoking. To the right. And I can't film in the casino. show you the entrance into the Jubilee Theater from here though. I put on a wedding dress and I was like, this is like a great dress for Emily at night. <laughs> because I wear a dress all the time, so it's very odd. It was, it was the weirdest thing. I was like, this is just really white. But like, I kind of love it. It's cute. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. Okay, now outside the casino on deck seven, we're back to center stage. Or again, they are still practicing for later shows of Rio. She just flipped. Oh, did she? Now we're walking on the port side of the ship. The casino's over there. Center stage to our left. Oh, sorry, yeah, that's starboard. There is sorry. a because the numbers are matching there. Here's Island Traders. What is Island Traders got? Let's price a short. Now he also don't have trash cans. It's cool. With the coffee cup. You are a coffee cup. Mine not. Mine is just one. $54 for a short. But they do have all sizes. They do, that's very nice. They're having a sale this morning and people are flocking to this. Two for 30 Promo teas. Here's your liquor store. Now. The sundries that they have are behind the counter in the liquor store. We used to have more. You used to have more, huh? Yeah. But this no is about what we'll the no recall right to. now. <laughs> uh, no problem. At least you've got it. A lot of sick yeah. people, this cruise. Okay, back out of the liquor store. There are the teas. Now, here are the center elevators. Got a bathroom right here. Got the Alchemy Bar on deck seven. We're moving toward the aft. Oh, this is your Limelight Lounge. Now this is the other location for uh, comedians. Let's go see what's in there right now. Thumbs up. You could have a team here, a team here, a team here, one hand, and a one hand. That way, you don't push it to the wheel itself. This is the Alchemy Bar. They open it. So they open it too. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Look at those. So you can make your own little fish and add it to the uh, aquarium. I'll show you that. Or check out my channel. I videoed it earlier. People are making fish right now. I believe this is the creativity event. Here is your steakhouse. Fahrenheit 555, deck 7 aft. Upcharge, I think it's 48 a person now. staircase here. Let's take another look at that. Goes down to six. And down to eight. And it has a broken panel of glass over there. This is Park West's hard sell area. Now this is deck seven of the Pacific Restaurant. Here are your aft elevators. This is where we sit in the evening with your time dining. Very nice dining room, I have no complaints with it. Got their orange circuit board carpet. This is very nice. You can see outside. Not bad at all. Breakfast going on downstairs. Let's check it out. This is Sea Day brunch happening below us. These change color at night when they do showtime. Okay, let's go back up to deck eight aft. We will take the pretty fish stairs up. This is something I really miss. There used to be menus posted outside the restaurant and they just don't do that anymore there are no more menus you must look it up on your phone i dislike that but it is the future i guess up the pretty fishy stairs Services, man, there has been no line for guest services all week until those tips hit, man. That's a shame. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they're all here for something else. Going straight to the back, then we'll work our way forward. This is... Is this still called Summer Landing on this ship? Thank you. This is also Guy's Pig and Anchor. A beautiful infinity pool out back. Alright, here we go. Ooh, and they're having trivia. Which WWE... Ooh, it's bright. It's a beautiful area back 
here. Look at that infinity pool. Oh, it's gonna fog up. Okay, now from the infinity pool, where they decorate guys big and anchor, we're gonna move forward. You've got the heroes bar over here to your right. And you've got guys pig and anchor. Bill to the left. Russell play basketball for which team between 1956 and 1969? In the mornings and late evenings, there's a buffet here. And they're also open for lunch and dinner. Let's go outside. All right, here we go. Number seven. And before we move forward on the ship. Let me show you the This is guys. Lots of seating for it with another drink area. and another bar. Now out here you've got like the Deck 8 playground. You've got some hot tubs. You've got the waterfall. Chicken fight song, little bitty chicken fight. The women's soccer team called the Royals play in which state? This is where you can get all your carnivals, Jubilee inaugural gear. I actually love that uh, shirt right there. That trip sixty dollars. This jacket, which I find very nice, and this shirt, jacket seventy four, shirt fifty nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna get with us here. How much are Christmas on? Oh, they have playing cards. The celebration did not carry playing cards. Oh, yeah. How much did you say? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Okay. Got your carnival goods though. 
got some Texas stuff, like a hat. A carnival uh, handkerchief. Here we're walking back through guest services. Now, if you don't want to walk through guest services, there's another entrance into the summer landing through the middle. It can be hectic walking through guest services. But, if you cut right through there and go through the stairs, you can walk into summer landing, not through guest services. Here's Carnival Adventures. You can book excursions. Hi, good morning. Good. Look at these cute little things. One of these guys will run you $16. They have some snorkels and masks here. I always wanted to try one of these masks. $50. I worry that they would have a fogging problem, but one day I shall test it. Just little swimmy goggles. Oh, just little swimmy goggles. Water shoes. How much is a water shoe? No, no water shoe prices. Oh, there. Not $20. $20. That's not bad. Water shoe. Not terrible. Oh, actually. Find these Yeti cups. Very nice. Forty bucks. Wow, it's heavy. I bet it keeps your coffee very hot. Yeah, Carnival Yeti. Here you can check your account and get ATM. Now we're into a very popular area in the evenings. Oh, first Rudy Segrill. Let's look at the menu for Rudy Segrill. This, I believe, is also now 49 a person. Have to check. Rooms. Very beautiful, look at that. With an ocean view. Thank you. Top of the fish staircase we came up. Now at night this line will be insane. Here's your deli, and they're open till like 10 I believe. And your pizza, which is open till 4 a.m. And after the midnight buffet in the back, pizza is the only thing you can do until the late night. Here you get your drinks. Very thin pizza. Not really my forte. But it's not bad. Did you like the pizza? It was pretty good. Okay. I mean, I don't prefer thin, but it was yeah, pretty good. Yeah, me neither. Their pizza thick like meat. They have a nice thick crust. Here on deck eight, we have the Marina Bar. At 3 o'clock. And Cucina de Capitano. We ate there on second, third night. It was okay, but we prefer the MDR. I don't know where we're We do? Well, let's look at the menu. We have never tried it for lunch. I had cured tuna, known as meatballs, arancina. The appetizers were very good. Known as meatballs, it was really just a meatball, but it was good. Arancina was very tasty. Fried rice balls with uh, cheese. I always loved cured tuna. And I had the beer on Ville Marceau. I did not love that. My wife had the eggplant parmesan. That was good. I should have ordered that actually. And then I had tiramisu and frozen lemon torte, which she really liked. You did. You liked that. I tasted it. It wasn't my thing, but she loved it. Yeah, and the tiramisu was good. It's very much like a lemon icebox pie. Oh. Like a lemon icebox pie, my wife says. <laughs> Here is your pixels. Very busy this morning, lots of pictures taken. 
Oh, people's pictures showing up there. Do I see these? Are they this cruise? Yeah, they are this cruise. I recognize some of those people. Pixels Gallery is also where you'll get your pin. If you're... Yeah, BIFP pin. Now here is the view from Deck 8 down onto center stage. Let's take a look. A little high for me. I don't prefer to sit up here, but see them practicing. She was really good in the aerial act we saw. We saw a little pop-up aerial act last week. I got that on video. Okay, let's circle around center stage. Over here, you got a shop, Tag Power, and Effie. Just your elevators. There's some room back. Here's a look inside Cucina. We sat right over there by the wall the other day. Now, in the center stage area on deck eight, you have the Effie store for jewelry. Tag Hauer, if you like to wear a wristwatch the size of a dinner plate on your wrist. This is Bonsai Sushi. I had a Poke Bowl here the other night. It was very good. I'll show you the menu. And over here is Teppanyaki. And this is also an upcharge, but very, very highly recommended by everyone who I've heard who has done it. Widely considered one of the best meals on the ship. Hello. We'll take a walk across this glass walkway on deck eight. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Another look down onto center stage while they are practicing for the first show that will include the aerial act at center stage. Rio right now has no aerial act, it will later. Ah. On the starboard side, moving forward on deck eight. We have Dreams Studio. And the Havana Bar. The Havana Bar is free access to everyone, but to go out there, you must have a wristband for the Havana experience. I'm not a fan of Havana balconies or Havana suites because there are people outside your balcony walking around and I don't like that. But this little bar is great and they have a wonderful cappuccino and Cuban coffee, espresso, very nice. This is also the Havana area. Staterooms available 1.30 every cruise. Okay, let's circle back around to the door we just came in. Because we missed Shebang. If you did not go into the Havana bar and you continued left, you would have come to Shebang on deck eight forward. Again, we prefer the main dining room over this. We only tried it once though. So And we do love both Chinese and Mexican. We do. Cuisine. We love Chinese and Mexican. When we did try it, we had the spring rolls. Now they were amazing. Uh, we had where's it at? Nachos. 
Camarones Diablo. It was not hot. It was and not, not hot very in the tasty. Least. And I had. What did I have? Um, no, it was. I had pollo in my head, and it was not very good. We will give it another try at some point. That's the debarkation Zone presentation is standing number. in the bowl. You're what? Zone tag number. Your zone tag number. Once again, this is what the number that's on the blue zone tag. It's going to be what you put on your bag. You're going to put it out tonight, and you're not going to see that bag again until you are already off the vessel and downstairs in the terminal. So please make sure you're keeping any essential medication, any additional floating items you guys will need, and any documentation really for uh, CBP. Please make sure you're keeping. Deck 16 forward and the Lido deck. Let's check it out. Oh, gonna have to cover this music. Enjoy whatever I choose. Deck 16, Lido deck. Up on 17, got the red frog. Street Eats. Oh, Seafood Shack. Now, this is enough charge also. Not open yet for Tom's fries. Not open yet for Steam Dream. Yeah, they're not open yet. And you've got some seating here. Lots of seating. This ship has had no problem with places to sit. And I think that's because it's an ultra cruise. I think they're all in the casino. Look at this right now. There are front row seats to the pool. That is abnormal on a ship of this size. Excel Class normally does not have seating available this time of the morning on a seat. Pool. No, it's still breakfast. But they'll only, this time of day, they'll have like one section open for breakfast. Oh, let's get a good look at the drink stations. You've got these juices available. This is all available for 21 cents an ounce. See how this works? 21. Got a hot chocolate machine and your coffee machines. I love to mix this and this about half and half. And I love it. breakfast is still happening. You pretty much make your full English breakfast. So you got your ham, your baked beans, your boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, eggs Benedict, potatoes, sausage, French toast. Good breakfast. And everyone is taking full advantage of it. Okay, now we're walking out of the buffet to the tides pool area. And you have Shaq's Big Chicken back here. Lots of seating, but not air conditioned. We've got a bar here. Beautiful little infinity pool. Two large hot tubs. Lots of seating, and again, lots of seating available on this cruise. And I believe that's because we're this is an ultra cruise. Take a look at Shaq's big chicken here. Shaq's big chicken. Let's look at their menu. Let's 
of the condiments you can add on to your sandwich. Potato salad, onions, pickles, lots of sauces. Okay, that is it for deck 16. Back into the Lido Marketplace or right through the middle to the other guys. Serenity. And what is the actual age limit on this ship for Serenity? 16, 18, or 21? That's what I just said. Ooh, hot tub. up here today on the celebration the wind was insane I guess it's just coming from a different direction today serenity is full here's the serenity bar And here's where the salad bar will be. And like I said, it's not windy at all today, so that'll be nice. Got Loft 19 up there. Got the Loft 19 pool. That's pretty cool. This is true, yes. shady spots.
Okay, the staff says it's 18. Arcade on 17. Just half of the Lido. Oh, this is nice. We played this. It was fun. This is where Circle C is. Oh, Guy's Burgers. On deck 17, Guy's Burgers. Very large Guy's Burgers, but it's a very large ship. Oh, your burgers. Burgers is Club 02. Lots of seating here and over here with the view. Look at all the sauces. Deck 18. Let's check out the ropes course, sports court, waterworks, ultimate playground. Deck 18. Ooh, look at the ropes course. That's pretty cool. Nice walkway up here. Beautiful views. Cruise ship. Going the other way. Oh, look at these. ahead but I haven't heard it running today I think maybe it's not running due to the wind bolt is $15 I rode it it was very impressive but I don't know if as quick as it runs it's worth $15 look at this nobody up here beautiful area right under the funnel that's true if this is, if Bolt were running, I wouldn't want to be sitting here. It rocks our room, and we're not oh, under it. We're on deck 15 farther aft, and it just rocks our room every time it runs. Waterworks! Faster. Now this has to be fun for the 
dad back. That's really cool. Look at those slides. Splash zone. Wow. And we got Puff Puck Golf back here. What a gorgeous Puff Puck Golf area. Look at that view. say if you want to play this you might want to bring your own balls so though need some kind of foam ball people are not fans of let's check it out oh it's very light that's the problem it's certainly hard enough but it's really light it's almost like a ping pong ball it'd be hard to play in the wind like that especially if you're used to playing with a regular golf ball that's not going to go or hit like you expect it to. It seems like if you're a professional golfer, you wouldn't worry too much about this club. Yeah, but if you really are into putt-putt, you're going to want it to be the right size and weight. Look at that. That's where you get on to bolt right up there. You must have the closed-toed shoes, by the way. No sandals on bolt. Must be between four foot four inches and six foot five, under 300 pounds. Wow. I think that covers the ship tour. That's a big ship out there.